forced to prove her breast pump was a breast pump. Tonight, the TSA is admitting one of its employees at Lihue Airport made a mistake when he told a breastfeeding mother she could not board with empty milk bottles. It's a story you'll see only on KITV4 News. We talked with the Maui mother who says the incident left her feeling humiliated. High school vice principal Amy Strand says as a new mother, she's used to travel being a little stressful. I've traveled before many times. You know, I travel for work and it's never been a problem before. But Wednesday afternoon, while going through Lihui Airport security with her nine-month-old daughter, Eva, she faced a problem she didn't expect. I was going through the line, and they pulled, they pulled me aside and asked um, if they could go in their breast pump, and I said, of course. It's what he said next that threw her. He, the TSA agent, was not going to allow me to um, take my breast pump um, because there was no milk in the bottle. TSA recently changed its screening procedures to allow women to carry breast milk onto planes without testing it. But breast pumps are treated as medical equipment that may or may not require additional screening. Strand says the agent said without milk in the pump, she could not board. I asked him if there was a private place I could pump, and he said, no, you can go in the women's bathroom. The only outlet for her electric pump was at the sink. I had to stand in front of the mirrors in the sink and pump my breath in front of every tourist that walked in that. When the bottles were full, Strand was allowed to board and return home to Maui, but her feelings of anger grew. I was embarrassed and humiliated and then angry that I was treated this way. In a statement to KITV4 News, the TSA admitted that their officer mistakenly told Strand that she could only bring the pack if it was medically necessary. Quote, we accept responsibility for the apparent misunderstanding and any inconvenience or embarrassment this incident may have caused her. Strand got in touch with TSA officials on Kauai today who said the agent involved will go through remediation training and a memo will be sent to agents at Lihue Airport on how to deal with similar situations in the future. Well, the TSA is under fire tonight after an agent at the Lihue Airport told a breastfeeding mother she could not board a flight to Maui with her breast pump until it was filled with milk. And we broke that story last night on KITV4 News at 10, and it has sparked a passionate discussion across the country. KITV4's Jody Leong continues our coverage. Amy Strand's experience with the TSA has sparked outrage on social media outlets across the nation. KITV's Facebook users expressed a landslide of support for the breastfeeding mother of nine-month-old Eva, who says a TSA agent ordered her to fill her breast pump with milk in order to get through security with the equipment. The high school vice principal was forced to pump her breasts in a busy public restroom at the Lihue Airport. It was humiliating that their solution was that I go stand in front of the sink in a public restroom because that's the only place where there's an outlet. The TSA recently changed its screening policy to allow women to carry unscreened breast milk onto planes, but it treats breast pumps as medical equipment that may or may not require additional screening. Strand says she respects the rules, but the TSA agent was indifferent when she asked for a private area in which to pump her breasts. The way that the man treated me was with no empathy, no regard for me as a woman, as a breastfeeding mother. You know, to think about how he would want his wife or his daughter to be treated. He was a real jerk. <laughs> and I so much as told him that, too. And although it's too late for Strand, she says she's speaking out to prevent other breastfeeding mothers from experiencing the same humiliation. And to think that other women other breastfeeding mothers who are working mothers could encounter the same kind of discrimination is what's really upsetting. Strand says TSA officials on Kauai told her the agent involved will undergo remediation training and agents will receive a memo outlining how they should deal with similar situations in the future. And the TSA says the agent made a mistake and it takes responsibility for the misunderstanding and any inconvenience and embarrassment the incident may have caused Amy Strand. Paula.